Welcome back to our Hatch Embroidery Getting Started series. Today we will learn more about the design palette details, such as why designs open in different colors. We will learn about the EMB, PES, DST, and other file formats. And you will also learn why you should always save to the EMB format. We just finished talking about the design palette and the different palettes that you could get from opening different types of designs. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Why do my designs open in different colors sometimes? Well, let me try to explain this to you. Remember, as I said, the default colors in Hatch is the 30 colors as you see it here. This is what you will get in a new blank design. Every software and every machine has its own set of default colors. It will not always be the same. When you open an EMB file, because it remembers everything, colors, stitches, and so forth, then it will open in the exact colors that you set it as when you were working with your EMB file, when you saved it as that EMB file. This is another good reason that you always want to remember to save your file as EMB when you're working on them. Now let's look at a design that is open as a PES file. This is a file you may see from a brother or a baby lock. Now the PES file does have the capability to re retain colors. So if you've opened a PES file and it's been saved as a PES file in a software that can save those colors in it, then it will open up in those colors also. But remember, a PES file doesn't have as many colors as you have in your thread palette. You may have in your My Threads 350 colors, but a PES file may only know 100 colors or 120 colors. When it saves a design to a PES, it has to save it to one of the colors that it already knows. One of the things about Hatch is it will save it as the color that you set it as in the EMB file. That's one of the differences in retaining the colors of a PES file and retaining the colors in an EMB file. What happens if there's a color that the PES file doesn't understand? Well, it will combine it into a close color that it does understand. You'll see what I mean right here. When you open this PES file, you will notice something a little different. Yes, it did open in the colors, but notice this very first color chip, it did not assign a color to. How do I know that it did not assign a color to this? Because it does not have the blue square in the upper right hand corner. Well, why did it not? Well, the reason is because there were two colors in the EMB file, two yellows, and the PES file only understood one yellow. So it took the yellows and it combined them both into the one yellow that it understood. I know that's confusing. Eventually, as you open more and more files, you will understand it. Well, what about a file that doesn't understand any colors? This is just your plain, generic, basic ditch file that's used on most commercial machines. It's used in the end on almost all machines. It has no color capabilities to retain colors in that file. Let's look at that. I have opened up a DST file. So I saved this as a DST file and then I opened it back up. Notice the colors are different. Look at the two here. This is the original colors. This is the colors that it opens up from a DST file. Also notice that you've got your default hatch colors back down here. That's because there's no colors in a DST file. It knows that there's color stops or stops if you will. So what happens is in a DST file, it will open up in the default colors of the application that you open it in. 
Remember I said earlier that each application has its own default colors? So if you open this up in a Brother software, it's going to be a different set of colors. If you open it up in your machine, it's going to be a different set of colors. It will open up the default colors for whatever application or machine that you open it in. I hope this helps you to see why it's always best if when you're working with the EMB file, any changes that you make, you save it to an EMB file, and then if you ever need to come back and adjust it again, you want to open up that EMB file and adjust from there. So just think about this. I had it as an EMB file, but I need it as a DST file to go to my machine. So I save it as a DST file. Now I need to make some changes to it. I need to change some colors to it. Well, when I open it back up, it now takes on this default colors. So it's really hard to come in here and change these colors. I can. I can go back and reassign these. But when you save it back to DST again, you will lose those colors once again. That is why, even though you've saved this as DST, you've stitched it on your machine, now when you want to open it back up, do some more edits to it, you always want to open that EMB file so that you have all of the stitches, all of the settings, all of the colors exactly like you saved it as. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.